I sang that song for more than 60 years, a song of praise to Joseph Smith, the founder of the church I served as a bishop. I was a faithful Latter-day Saint. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. I realized that I was following the gospel of Joseph Smith and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many others have made a similar journey into an authentic relationship with Jesus. And that's what this show is all about, people who want to share their story. So if you're a Latter-day Saint seeking a genuine encounter with the Savior, we have a joyful message that we want to share with you. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host, Bishop Earl, and still here in St. George, and it's just fantastic. And so we're, we appreciate you spending some time with us. And today we have Doug. How do you say your last name? Shivers, like you're cold. Shivers, okay, yeah. with a C. With a C. They'll see the spelling on the on the screen, but that's great. So thanks, Doug, for coming and sharing your story and kind of get started. Where do you? Where were you born? I was born in Vernal, Utah. Okay. In, uh, yeah, uh, but uh, right out of high school, we got married to my wife Paula, and uh, we moved to Wyoming, and spent the next uh, thirty years in Wyoming, and then we returned back to Vernal, Utah, and then when I retired, we came to St. George here. How about that? Well, we're just through, and we'll see you next <laughs> week. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was awesome. So you were, were you born into an LDS family? Were your parents active, or uh, active, but LDS? And yes, yes. Uh, I, uh, my mother was always very active, you know, and, and uh, uh, I had three uh, sisters and two brothers, but there oh. it was a real long family, so I only had one brother that was really at home when, when I was. The rest were like, my oldest sister's 22 years older than I am, oh. so uh, it happens, was kind of so. spread out, you know, yeah. but my mother always uh, took us to church and we participated in church, and, and my dad did not go to church at, at that point in time. You know, that's and, the way my family was. My dad didn't go to church, yeah. and, but mom did. And, and took us kids with them, and so or with her. So that was interesting. Yeah, I you know I was always active, and you know, as a deacon and gathering fast offerings, and in uh, in the Boy Scouts, and yeah. in mutual, and in uh, uh, whatnot, you know. But uh, did you have to take seminary? Did you do that when you were? Yeah, yeah. Seminary was definitely the thing to do. You know, all four years from ninth grade on, it took seminary. You know, and uh, wow, it was. Uh, you, you get, it was during the school, you got out of a class to go there, you know. <laughs> you didn't have to go in the morning or afterwards. And, you show and, up and, yeah. Yeah, but I know I was very interested. I enjoyed the seminary, uh, all four years of it. I, I, I really did. Uh, just and, no uh, question that the church was true, right? Did you? You know, uh, no. Uh, uh, you know, from uh, early on, uh, I was always told, you know, that the Mormons would always be persecuted, and uh, and because uh, we're just a little different, we was the only right. true church, and right, so right. people were were always going to be persecuting us. But it, it was very important to stay faithful, you right. know, and and I can remember that ingrained to me so well, you know, <laughs> it, it, it it really was. I uh, I uh, I had no questions about whether it was a true church and. Yeah. Uh, uh, at all. Joseph Smith was prophet and the yeah. Book of Mormon was true. And yeah, you know, I, I, I believed this, the, the, the whole stories and him uh, translating the Golden Plates and the Book of Mormon and, and uh, you know, I, I don't recall any of the four years in seminary ever studying the Bible. It was always uh, they may the have Book slipped it in, but it would yeah. have been not too much, I bet. Yeah, you know, and, and we uh, I was always I re, was always told that we believe in the Bible in as far as it's translated correctly. That's right. Which to me made that uh, wasn't trustworthy. That's what, right. what part of it would you believe, that's, or which part wouldn't you believe? And yeah. and uh, that's you know, the message. Uh, that's uh, uh, and you know as as time went on, you know and. And I got a little older, and you're going past that point of the deacon to the next step. And I'm having an interview with the bishop, uh, and he is saying, "Well, this is a point in time where you need to start your studies to become a missionary." Yeah. 
and I never had ever had an inkling that I wanted to be a missionary. Really? Why, I'm not sure, because I did believe in the church. And, and, and he emphasized this was, this was a, 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 an important step that needed to be serious about this next step. Yeah. And, I th and it, you just didn't have that desire I, no, or even no, thought I, that you'd I, no, go? No, I didn't. No, I, I didn't. And, and now, did your older brothers yeah. or family members no, gone? No, uh, no, I never. You know, and in, I don't know, but at least where I grew up in, in Vernal, everybody didn't go on a mission like it seems like most of the, oh, you okay. know, that wasn't, uh, it wasn't to totally as involved as it is today. But uh, <laughs> anyway, I, I just really got away from going to church and whatnot. What did your was family think to, of that? Mom, you know, dad, and that mom the care? thing of it is, is my dad started to go to church and then took all the, the, the lessons and, and uh, went through the temple with mom my and mother did. and uh, when I was about 14. Did you go get sealed to yes, then? Yes, so you went I, into the temple? temple and got sealed. Now, was, uh, there wasn't a vernal temple then, No, was there? there was Where just a Salt go? Lake temple. So you went into Salt Lake yeah. and you were sealed there to your... Yeah, and uh, exactly. You, and do you remember that pretty well? With, yeah. At it, age 14, I guess. Yeah, you know, in... Uh, um, but my dad had not been a real uh, a churchgoer up until that yeah. point. So when I said, I don't really want to go, to church. Yeah. Well, he said, that's okay. He did. Yeah, that's all right. all right, Mom. You don't have to make him go. He will come around. You just have that trust that you'll yeah. eventually come back. And, and, and I think it was because, you know, the life he had led, you know. Uh, and there he was coming around, yeah, so to so, speak. Yeah, so I think that's, uh, that was, seemed to be left at okay at that point. Well, to, just to digress a little bit, what was it that brought your dad back around? What, what was he thinking? Was he getting older and thought? Yeah, because yeah, my dad was 49 when I was born, so he, um, he was 63 years old. To see or, the end a little closer. I, you know, <laughs> as, uh, I, I've, I've seen that with uh, some of my uh, siblings, you know, and it gets a little bit older and you decide, well, you know, better we better do something because uh, <laughs> if you don't go to the temple, you're not going to be able to yeah. be with uh, Heavenly Father, as they right. like to say. And yeah. so, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah I, it was just because you're getting older. You better be getting that temple work done. Getting, getting things squared yeah. away. Yeah. Okay, so you mentioned coming out of high school. Did you get married young then? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, uh, right out of high school, when we was 18 years old, Paula and I got married, and uh, uh, and she's such a delightful young oh. lady. <laughs> we were, I, we're still together. Just, it, I know. How many years has it 50 been? Fifty years. Fifty oh, years. The last month. That's awesome. And uh, yeah. Now is she Mormon? Uh, no, she was raised a Christian. She was a, a, a oh. Baptist, and uh, that was the thing. But is I knew what I believed, and she knew what she believed, yeah. and neither one of us knew which the other believed as far as our religious belief. And you didn't really faith. jump into her Christian and she didn't want well, to jump into your Mormon. I wanted her to become a Mormon. Of course. And take her to the temple and do yeah, all that stuff. You know, and it, uh, Did you ever ask her to take the lessons? Well, I, I, I asked her, you know, and she said, there's no way I'm going to become a Mormon and, <laughs> and I was not going to be go to the Baptist church. You know, I didn't quite understand Christianity. I'm impressed but, uh, you guys have got 50 years in with that kind of well, approach. You know, it, it wasn't like I was such a church goer that I was losing anything. Uh, and, and, and I, you know, this may sound really strange, but I always understood when we died, we'd go to paradise and you're going to be there till the end of the millennium. Yeah. So if Paula didn't want to become a Mormon, <laughs> That was okay because I knew one of my family after she died would baptize her after she was dead. <laughs> we cover and all in, the bases. And don't in, we? Oh, absolutely! <laughs> and so it, she had at least a thousand years to come to her senses. I just had no doubt that yeah. that, that would happen. And uh, when we get Joseph Smith, we'll sick him on her. Yeah, right? you know, I, I really, I actually believe that. I don't know if anybody else has ever thought such things as that. And, you know, oh, yeah. I, but I, I just thought that is uh, 
that's not going to be a problem. And uh, we'll get her eventually. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, exactly. So how long did you go this way? Well, uh, I just kind of I, I, not because of uh, not going to church or whatever. I just think I was that type of individual. I really dedicated my life to my job. I, I worked a lot. I worked more than I even had to. You I traveled just, a lot, didn't you? Well, we moved a lot. Oh, Every yeah. four years. How many we children moved. did you have? Two boys. Two boys. Two okay. boys. And, uh, and you took the whole family to these yeah, different Yeah, years. we moved from one town to the next in the, following the oil booms. And uh, as, as we would move and I would get involved in my job, and, Paula would take care of getting the boys into school and getting them involved in the scout program or Where whatever. She at, she yeah. took care of, and she took them to church, and uh, to the Christian church. Yes, Christian oh, okay. church. Uh, you know, and you were okay with that, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I was. Uh, uh, the one thing I regretted when it was when they came of age to around eight or not nine. Uh, Too old to get. She back said, I, the the boys are an age to become, uh, to be baptized. And I said, well, since we have our differences, I think maybe we should wait a little longer and let them make their own she choice. She was that respectful of you that she would offer to have the kids baptized at age eight. Yeah. That's uh, oh, into the Baptist church. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. not in, no, no, no. She was respecting and your no, decision. No, no, okay. and so. Well, not that so, she still isn't. So we sweet, didn't get the, the boys didn't get baptized. They didn't. You just decided, you know, yeah. we're, neither one of us are yep. that committed, yep. so we won't have, okay. So, you know, as years <clears> went on and we went, moved from one oil boom town to another, and after 30 years with the same company, I retired mm. with that company. and. But I was too young to quit working. Where was this at? And we lived in Rock Springs, Wyoming at that point. In time. Okay. And uh, uh, so I had an offer for a job that I really wanted in, in Vernal. And uh, uh, so I told Paula, I said, well, we need to move to Vernal because I've, there's this job that I've always wanted. She said, uh, you know, I really would like to stay here. We had a son there with three grandsons. and. Uh, she said, you know, Fernal's a, a little harder area to live in and not be LDS, you know. And, uh, but she really liked where we lived and our home and our Good kids. Springs, and yeah. and uh, I said, oh, I'm just really drawn to this job. And I convinced her to go. <laughs> and we'd been there, uh, oh, a year or two. And Life is really good for me. I've got a job that I just loved and I was making more money than I'd ever made. <laughs> and, and I'm enjoying life and she is totally miserable. Oh. <laughs> so, <clears throat> probably uh, the most unselfish act I ever took <laughs> <laughs> was uh, I uh, I knew this wasn't right. She had made all the sacrifices, and she was miserable. And I was, I went to her and I said, "What is there I can do for you?" Because I know you're so unhappy. And uh, I just knew she was going to say, "Sell the house. We're going back to <laughs> Wyoming." You know. And she said, uh, "One thing, just one thing, is all you have to do." She said, just go to church with me. I said, <clears throat> I'm saying to myself, wow, hour and a half a week, I got off this easy. <laughs> uh. So I went to church with her. She said, you don't have to do a thing. You can just be a pew warmer. Just sit in the back? Yes, and... sit there and don't have to say a word. You don't have to do anything. And uh, the preacher and the... Uh, the little church we went to in Vernal was uh, preaching in Romans. And uh, it was just intriguing to me to hear this. And I just, I, I know once you've accepted Jesus Christ, you receive the Holy Spirit. And, uh, but the Holy Spirit's also the, the one that brings you to that point. And, I'm understanding these scriptures. I'm understanding what that preacher's saying, and 
it's just intriguing to me. I said, ah, have you got a, a Sunday school class for adults? And yes, it starts before church. And I, uh, well, for eight months, I never missed a Sunday. I uh, had read the Bible cover to cover. Did this surprise Paula after that first, what'd you say to her after the first visit? That one's bad. We'll get back to I'll, the I'll, study. I'll, 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 uh, I'll, you said I'll that's go with so, you. so bad. <laughs> it's, it's bad. I'll show up next time. <laughs> hey, week. I learned something yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just, it was really quite overwhelming to, well, uh, now you, to us. So. You, your only other association had been with Mormons, of course, and Absolutely. Mormon, Mormon yep. sacrament meetings and yep. all that. Yep. So how, it was just that different, huh? Well, you know, there was reverence. There wasn't kids running all over and making lots of noise and and they had great music. You just wanted to just and sing and, and praise and praise God, and right? Praise and God. Jesus and, 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 and and there was never about the church I was going to. I don't know if if it's okay to mention other churches or pastors or whatnot, but it was never about Vernal Christian Church. No. It was never about Marty Young. No. It was our preacher. It was about, about Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. And and it was about, it's not because I say it's this way, it's because that's what the Bible says. And, and how... Uh, and you'd never heard that message no, before, and I, you? you know, and, and the, the, the Bible is written by men that are inspired by God. Exactly, yeah. Excuse me. It it wasn't to be cherry picked. No. You take it all or you take it yeah. none of it. It is. And aren't you impressed God. with pastors who are called of God to share the word and they're they're driven they have the spirit and they're sharing this message? Do, yeah. yeah. Has that been a, I you know, I can I can say, well, I uh it's, we all have gifts. Yeah. Each and every one of us. And to be given the gift to be able to teach God's Word. In a free... You know, and, and just, and to be able to enjoy that, and that to be your life, and the fulfillment that must come from that. I, I don't know what it'd be like to have had Christ in your life your whole life, but to be able to experience 50 years, 56 years without Christ in your life, and then to have Christ in your life, you know, and I, I don't, if I jump around too much on you, just stop me, but it's like I was, was concerned early on in, well, I won't be with my family. Uh. And, and I, and I, I can remember thinking, well, how does this all work anyway? If, if I'm sealed to my parents and my sisters and brothers and she's to hers and, and this goes on and on and on. And then when I understand how the Bible tells us it is, I mean, we just love everybody the same. Yeah. We don't have to be sealed to anybody. I mean, how much bigger of a family can you have <laughs> that you just love everybody you see the same? You yeah. know, it's... Uh, Excuse me, but it—I it, I just I, wow. Okay, when I when I had that eye opener, that that really helped. Yeah. In, in accepting the change, you know, uh, I did not want to alienate my brothers and sisters, or my. By this time, my parents had passed away, of course. But uh, uh, I, because I, I most of my family are still are very very active. They're uh, uh, presidents of. Or bishops, bishops, or have been so. bishops. And did they see a change in you, though? I, I'm sure they had. They did. It was quite strange when, when I left the uh, church. It was just really never spoke of. It was yeah. like just the elephant the black in the sheep, room, black know? sheep of the yeah, family, and, for uh, sure. Yeah. So. Well, did you uh, have a? I, I can tell this this first visit to the. To the church uh, with Paula was was a big moment. Did you have another born again moment, particularly, or was would you would you? You know, I I just moment? was, I just well, just like right now, it's it's embarrassing. I I never cried in my life. I don't believe <laughs> till I become a Christian, and and just to talk about what Jesus Christ has done for us. When 
God's grace, you know, I can just, it's just overwhelming with emotions. But I, I was just going and going, and it was like I'm going 100 miles an hour, and how can all this be so neat? And I never did comprehend or was a great reader, and I could pick up that Bible and just read for hours until I did, I got to go to bed, I got to get up in the morning, you know, and, <laughs> and, and, and uh, walk away understanding a lot of it, you know, yeah. but it, it took small groups, uh, Bible studies, and, 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 uh, and time from, yeah. uh, from special guys in our church, and in uh, whatnot, but uh, now you mentioned this eight eight month period, and I didn't want to get away yeah. from that. If you had something special well, in there, well, in there it's just uh, I, I just enjoyed it. I couldn't wait to get back. To come back, I to couldn't you. get back, and I <laughs> I had not uh, become born again yet, but yet I probably hadn't. I just yeah. hadn't officially didn't, said anything. And I was I was wanting to join in on any work projects they had and whatever was going on in the church. And Paula must be and, thrilled and, with uh, this. Well, she's taken back. She's saying, wow, <laughs> you know, what, what, what is this? What, you you know, what, is, what, is, what is this? And uh, I, I think all to the good. But, uh, sure. uh, but you know, I, I was still had concerns, and, and I'm, 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 uh, I can, uh, I'm standing in the hallway, uh, and I'm thinking, is this really right? And as clear as it can be, I was told, this is right. I mean, I didn't hear the word. I know. I, it was just it's so calming. Just instantly, I could just relax. It was like, wow. My yoke so is I easy, think that my was my moment. <laughs> Sounds like my it. my God moment. Uh, uh, yeah, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Yeah, and we feel a certain freedom to do uh, good works, of course, but uh, to to serve and to love. You know, but there's a, there's a, there is a difference, you know. And in, in John, it tells us what is the work God wants us to do. Yeah, and it's really simple. It's to believe in the one He sent. That is the only work. Oh. You know, uh, works come yeah. natural when you believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah. But when you have to pay a tithe to get a ticket to go to a temple to where you can go to where God is, and you have to do all these works to get there, that, that doesn't make sense. Uh -huh. You know, because as you know, we are saved by God's grace through faith in Jesus Christ. That's right. No works, so no one can boast. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a beautiful uh, message. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, I, I, I've had, I definitely had a, a God moment, and uh, yeah. you know, our, where I go to a church now, and our preacher will say, uh, everyone should have a three-minute story. I've never got that down yet. <laughs> yeah, were, were your life before, how you come to Christianity and your life after. And I, uh, I could, I've never been able to get that down to a three minute story. No. So. Well, you've got about a 28 minute time, <laughs> time frame this time and it's just beautiful. And you know, and I'm sure what you kind of probably done some outreach and ministry kind of things. What have you done since? Well, I. When we lived in Vernal, I, I went to the, the, uh, the, it was part of the jail ministry. We went every Thursday. What's it called? Jail ministry. Oh, jail ministry. We would go yeah. to the prison. And, oh, you really and, did. And, and, uh, and do a, a Bible study or a prayer time with the inmates every Thursday night. And then once we came down here. How long have you been here in St. George? Six years. Six. Yeah, oh, and also in Vernal, I, I couldn't wait. I wanted to become a deacon. and. I became a deacon as soon as they'd let me, and, and uh, I, I was. Uh, Are you as shocked as anybody here? This old tough oil, yeah, no, oil and, man. And I was used to telling everybody else what to do, and now I'm out there fixing the baptismal font and cleaning the church and and uh, whatnot. And then I led a couple of Bible studies with the help of other people because I was a little new yet. But and then uh, down here, I have uh, been active in the. Uh, prison ministry here as well at going to purgatory not, for, not for four years uh, and we do an actual Bible study there. We go verse by verse and, and, uh, and uh, 
with the inmates here. And, and um, I bet they appreciate that, do they? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you, sometimes you you wonder about some of the senior uh, this uh, sincerity of it because they're getting out, you know, of but, little uh, free time or yeah, something. But, but, but still, there's some great had, stories. We had, I'll uh, bet. we had a lot of them that uh, accepted the Lord it right there in our yeah. in our meetings. And, so uh, yeah, in uh, Paul and I did the cleaning ministry here for two years at our church, and did you? yeah, they, they clean the church on there every Thursday, and and uh, oh, uh, but God. usher for four years. Yeah. You know, so hasn't it been joyful to 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 trust the Bible and to read that and to feel like we can count on that? You know, it, it is when you you know it's. Uh, When you know that every question you have can be answered in the Bible that I've found so far, you go to the back and I look <laughs> it up and go to the scripture and it's God's and, word, and it, huh? you know, and it's and and exactly it, it, you said just what I was trying oh. to say, you know, because. The Bible is not just a book; it is God's word. That yeah, is, and uh, you know, you say, yeah, "Trust it, God's word." Well, what is God's word? It's the Bible, yeah. you know. And uh, so, everything you need to know is there. And, uh, and well, we're just about out of time. Uh, I want to give you a chance to maybe say something to family that might watch this, or well, friends. What would you say to them? You know, uh, it is. I am not here to condemn the. Uh, the the uh, LDS Church. I love the LDS people are probably the nicest people I've ever been around. I love all of my family. But I would ask you to just open up your eyes and open up your heart and question. We're told in the Bible to question. And learn the difference between believing in a man-made religion and believing in Jesus Christ. We were, our sins were not atoned in the garden. It was on the cross. Shed blood, huh? And we were saved by the shed blood of Christ. Yeah. And without the cross, there would have been no need for Jesus at all. And if in the garden was the atonement, then why would have he had to have endured the cross? I love all of you, and I pray daily for all of you. I don't think you could say it any better, Doug. It was awesome. And I hope they'll open up the Bible and maybe do a little research. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate it so much. Thank you.